Betelgeuse, located in the constellation Orion, is one of the most recognizable stars in the sky. Its vibrant red hue and prominent position have made it a favorite among stargazers and astronomers alike. But what makes Betelgeuse truly intriguing is its mysterious behavior. Astronomers call it a variable star because it pulsates, expanding and contracting in size over time. This pulsation causes the star's brightness to fluctuate, sometimes making it one of the brightest stars in the sky and at other times, dimming significantly. Now Betelgeuse is a true giant, with a diameter more than 1,000 times that of our Sun. If you placed it at the center of our solar system, it would engulf the inner planets, including Earth, and go all the way up to Jupiter. Its immense size and mass make it a red supergiant star nearing the end of its life. Yes, the behemoth of a star is dying, but that is not the reason we are curious, because stars die all the time. What has had astronomers on edge, is the dimming of Betelgeuse. In late 2019 and early 2020, the star underwent an unprecedented dimming event, losing a significant portion of its brightness. This sparked speculation and curiosity among scientists worldwide. Several theories emerged to explain Betelgeuse's dimming, but one possibility stood out, and was later found to be correct by the Hubble Space Telescope. Based on Hubble's data, scientists found that the star ejected a massive cloud of dust, partially obscuring its light from our view. However, the star last dimmed in February, 2020, and has since not repeated its cycle. What we know is that as the star recovered from blasting out a huge amount of its innards in late 2019, in an event that became known as the Great Dimming, its surface is now bouncing like gelatin on a plate, and it has lost the natural 400-day heartbeat that has been present for at least two centuries. Yes, Betelgeuse is still acting very strange, and looking ahead it will eventually reach the end of its life and explode in a brilliant supernova. But, when that will happen, nobody knows for sure, except for a team of scientists. And according to them, the explosion may be happening right now as you watch this or very near in the future. Welcome to Lab 360, it's time to explore. A new study by Hideyuki Seo and his colleagues of the Tohoku University in Japan, claim that the star might be further along in its evolution, and that much closer to exploding, than we thought. But how are they claiming this? It's the star's pulsations. You see, Betelgeuse is unstable, breathing in and out regularly, with overlapping overtones. Following its brightness over the past century, astronomers have noted changes over periods of 2,200 days, 420 days, 230 days, and 185 days. Usually, astronomers treat the 420-day up and down as the primary in and out pulsation, with the shorter cycles as overtones. The 2,200-day, or six-year period isn't generally considered part of these ins and outs, and is instead dubbed a long secondary period, a feature of unknown origin, common to one-third of supergiant stars. If the 420-day period is the primary one, then Betelgeuse would have the span of 800 to 900 suns lined up in a row. Placed in the solar system, it would almost reach the orbit of Jupiter. Seo and colleagues, however, think that might be an underestimate. If the 2200-day cycle is the primary one, and all the rest are overtones, then the star would be even more massive, spanning 1200 suns, even wider than Jupiter's orbit. In line with its larger size, the star would be even further along in its life cycle. Stars like Betelgeuse live fast and large. So, to put some headlines in perspective, Seo's group isn't saying Betelgeuse will blow tomorrow or even in the next decade. The researchers' claim is that Betelgeuse would blow within 1,000 years rather than 10,000 or 100,000. Now for those unaware, when a star runs out of hydrogen, then helium starts to burn into carbon which causes swelling in a star. As all the fuel is burned out, and the remaining elements do not form fuel, against their own weight, the core collapses to form a solid neutron star, which the inrush of surrounding gas rebounds against to form a supernova. Betelgeuse is a red superstar with an age of at least 8 million years. It is believed to be in the last stages of its life cycle, having burned through the hydrogen in its core.
So will we be able to watch the Beetlejuice explosion? If we could live for another couple of thousand years, then sure. What a spectacle it would be to behold, right? Let us know in the comments below, and don't forget to subscribe to Lab360, because together we will explore.